To complete the application process, you will need the following information. Your social security number, if you have one. Your anticipated high school graduation date. Your planned course of study or major. It's okay if you're undecided. And other basic personal information, like your date of birth and mailing address. Once you have this information, go to the Walter State website at ws.edu. Click on Admissions, then Apply Now. If this is the first time you've applied to Walter State, you will need to create a login ID and PIN. Instructions for creating this can be found here. If you have submitted an application before and remember your login credentials, click here to log in to your existing account. If you do not remember your credentials, simply create a new login ID and PIN. Check this box and click Login. Next, select your application type. Please note, students attending college for the first time are new freshmen, even if they have taken dual enrollment classes. Once you have made your selection, click Continue. Next, select the term you plan to start. Type in your legal name and click Fill out application. This is the application checklist. It includes all of the information that is asked on the application. You can return to this checklist at any time. To continue, click Confirm Name. Here, you can enter additional information about your name, including any other last names you may have had. You can also let us know if your preferred first name is different from your legal name. Next, select if English is your native language and click Continue. Enter your mailing address. Make sure this is the address where you receive mail, then click Continue. Enter your personal information, including your citizenship status, phone number, social security number, gender, birth date, ethnicity, and race. Also, please indicate how long you've lived in Tennessee and which campus you plan to attend. The final section on this page is about selective service and veteran status. As a reminder, all males who are 18 or older are required to register for selective service before they can register for classes. If you are required to do this and haven't yet, visit sss.gov. If you are not registered for selective service, please indicate a reason from the list. Finally, let us know your veteran status and click Continue. On the Planned Course of Study page, select your planned course of study, which is your major. Remember, AA, AS, and TTP majors are all designed to graduate from Walter State then transfer to a four-year college or university. AAS and certificate majors prepare you to immediately start working after you graduate from Walter State. Not sure about what you want to major in yet? No problem, just select AS General Studies and click Continue. Enter your high school information. Click on Look Up High School Code to find your specific high school. Make sure to enter your anticipated graduation date and diploma type. Click Continue. If you are an international student attending Walter State on a student visa, enter your student visa information. Otherwise, click Continue. Finally, let us know your immunization history. As a reminder, you are not required to have these immunizations. Once your application is complete, you should have all check marks on your application checklist. Now, click Application is Complete. Read the Acknowledgement of Understanding and click I Agree to the Terms. Your application will not submit if you click I Do Not Agree. Congratulations! You have submitted your application. You will receive a confirmation message that your application has been submitted. Once you submit your application, you will receive notification by mail from Student Enrollment Services. We will include a checklist that will help you continue through the enrollment process. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We look forward to seeing you on campus soon.